Hello and welcome to the showcase of my version of More Than Meets the Nautica, done in resin 3D printing. So again, like all my other figures, I try to make her as comically accurate as possible, albeit there are a few parts in this toy that are not accurate. For example, those pieces that stick out in the front and there is, slight, there is a slight gap in the alt mode, as you can see that I pointed out just now. The part that bugs me a little bit, again, is where I'm pointing at now, is these little prong parts that stick out. These make up her side of the legs. These make up the side of her legs, and they are necessary to be there. But if I were to revise it in the future, I would make them fold in to fill in that gap in the front as well, and have it more streamlined as a submarine mode. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot of projects on my plate right now, so I can't, I don't really have time to go back and revise it, but I will revise it in the future. Here she is next to more than meets the swerve. This is my 3D printed swerve as well. As you can see, they are roughly the same size as well. Despite Nautica being quite a lot taller than swerve in robot mode, she compacts into quite a small submarine mode, which I am quite happy with. So transform her, pop this piece up and fold it down. Her whole cockpit, her whole cockpit area accordions up and rotates at a hinge at the back of her head. Let's clear her arms out of the way for the leg transformation to just fold, um, just rotate it up at her shoulders. Now the leg transformation, that is, this is the most complex part of the transformation, but it's still quite easy. It's first of all, unpeg the legs from each other Pull the flaps upwards and flip the feet down, straightening it and rotating, rotating it at the thigh. This is what you want to do, just rotate it at the thigh, rotate it at the waist. I have to take this off camera as well because I haven't touched Nautica's figure in quite a long time as well and I've left it there so I think during that time there might be some paint that hasn't dried which has dried over the process and it has locked it up quite a bit so i just gave it a little twist and twisted it back in place now now there is a circular hole on the side of the leg that pegs into the circular tab on the side of her leg and that locks her whole leg as one piece Flip that heel out. It is a small, small heel, but it does wonders for this, for the stability of the figure. Flip the front of the ship downwards, and that fills in that gap at the back of the legs. Do the same thing here. Circle, circle peg, circle hole, tab in together to form one leg. Flip the front of the cockpit in and fold it in. Fold this tiny heel outwards, and this thigh rotation hasn't stuck, hasn't gotten stuck on me, so I just rotated it and had to give those legs a little push, but everything's in order. Now for the backpack, fold the windscreen piece in and fold the cockpit in into her chest cavity, push the slider down. There is a tab at the back of the backpack that locks into a slot on the bottom of that cockpit piece and that solidifies the whole piece and makes it quite a st um, sturdy figure to hold and play with. So you can see me just messing with her legs to make her stand a little bit better for the arm transformation. So what you do is just fold the shoulders down, flip that piece in the turbine and rotate it so there is another slot on the inside of the piece. So just tab it in, rotate, the turbine piece at the top of her shoulders and that gives her these butterfly wings effect that you can see here and you can see in Nautica's design in more than meets the eye. Do the same for the other one, rotate it and tab it in. Last step is to reveal the fists. So what you do is to untab the fist covers and fold them in. Rotate, flip out the other fist as well and finally rotate her 180 degrees and flip those pieces to the back of her arms to hide them from view in robot mode. Do that for the other side as well. 
and you can see me sort of fiddling with her, straightening her up, and there you have more than meets the eye Nautica in her robot mode. So I've adjusted the camera and I push it down to her level. So let's talk about articulation right now. First of all, she has a ball joint onto her head. She looks left and right quite nicely. Her articulation is slightly hindered by the collar bones or the collar pieces. And I'm quite happy with the head tilt that I'm able to achieve in this figure. The turbines I showed before in transformation, they do do the butterfly wings. Her arms do 180 degrees. There is the in and out in the elbows, a bicep swivel, a 90 degree bend at the elbow. And there is wrist rotation. It is sort of stiff on my copy, but it is there as you can see, I've sort of rotated through um, wrist. There is a hip swivel, hip there is a hip rotation. And as you can see in transformation, it's locked by that backpack piece. But if you untab it, you can free up the wrist, uh, the hip articulation. The legs kick up, kick up all the way. The legs bend quite far back. There is an up and down on the toe. And as seen in transformation, she does have a thigh rotation. Now to talk about accessories that she comes with. She does come with her wrench. Again, like I said in quite a, quite a few videos now, this is my long lens, so I can't really bring my camera quite close to the um, figure for focus. So this is, um, I'll put in a few pictures to make it clearer. So this is her with her wrench and it fits in quite nicely with her head. And another accessory is a alternate head in which you could see her with a happier expression with um, sort of a more of a cheekier smile. She is smiling in the other one as well, but this is like a bright smile, smiling like sort of ear to ear. And um, just peg it in, well not peg it in, just slot it into the ball joint where the head was and you retain the same amount of articulation. For size comparison, here she is with Crankcase and Generations Nightbeat. Crankcase is a 3D print, so um, that's not too much of a reference. So here she is with SXS Hot Flame. You could see that she is quite a small bot, but my priority here is to make her shorter than Generation Skids, which is quite a short figure himself, um, which I have achieved here. I don't have Skids with me at the moment, but I do know that she is shorter than Skids and that is an aspect that I'm quite happy with. So thanks for watching the vi video showcase of more than Meteor Nautica 3D printed. I'm quite happy with her and she is one of my favorites in my collection at the moment. It means a lot to me if you like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.